Moving forward with Lovey Smith as the new head coach of the Houston Texans, Pep Hamilton gets the promotion to offensive coordinator. And I dissect it, guys. Cue the intro. <laughs> everybody welcome back to a brand new episode of the league your host is always harley dugan pep hamilton gets the promotion to offensive coordinator from quarterbacks coach he stays with the texans and to me this is a huge huge win for the texans and lovey smith especially lovey was a guy in chicago that extremely struggled with who could be his offensive coordinator in one year they had Mike Marks who said you know I don't really need a tight end and decided to trade Greg Olson who was pretty much their number one offensive target for Jay Cutler so that is something that Lovey Smith let's just say has not done well in that criteria so what I'm hoping for is look he's going to call plays defensively whatever OK, I'm, I'm with the head coaching hire. I'm a Texan fan first, and then I'll let my opinions uh, stray from there. But Pat Hamilton is the offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans, like I originally said, ultimate dub, the continuity between him and Davis Mills going all the way back to Stanford should be a huge win for the Texans. And it makes Lovey Smith's job hopefully easier. Pat Hamilton bringing in a guy who in the tight ends coach, and I can't really say his name, Tim Burbinovich, I think it was, or something like that. But uh, he was with Pat Hamilton going all the way back to the New York Jets. Pat Hamilton brought him into Indianapolis as an offensive assistant under him. So, yeah, Pep and Indy definitely love to throw the ball down the field, a very vertical offense that you saw in flashes with Tim Kelly and Davis Mills. That's when Davis Mills shined, was throwing the ball vertically down the field. Of course, a critique on Pat Hamilton's offense in Indy was they didn't have uh, control of the ball. Time of possession was a big issue. They'd score real fast, uh, red zone issues as well. Uh, they did lead the league with yards per drive. They had 37 yards per drive. Uh, they were a league leading 15 touchdowns of more than 20 yards. Now they did have T.Y. Hilton to patch with a Andrew Luck. So that obviously helped too. But this is something that there has to be a balance with the Houston Texans. And that's why running back should, has to be something to look into, whether the draft, whether free agency, however they want to do. Somebody like a Ronald Jones who, could fit well with the Houston Texans. You got Rex Burkhead. I think Burkhead, as long as you use him as a third down back, I have no problem with that. The guy could pick up a blitz really well. He does great in pass protection for Davis Mills or whoever quarterback he's with. So somebody like a Ronald Jones, or you could go into the draft and look at a few options. Nothing too early. I don't want to run him back in the first, second round. I might allow it in the third round this year just because of Pep Hamilton's struggle of time of possession and ultimately creating the quarterback to draw more turnovers because you're passing the ball so damn much. Hopefully we don't see that a lot with Davis Mills and hopefully Pep Hamilton could create a more balanced offense, but I do love the vertical offense. I do love that he's willing to fling it and throw it down the field. That's what supposedly his offense can be. I'm just drawing conclusions from Indianapolis at this point. So that's it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Hit that bell for the notice to turn on. Drop your comments, your reactions down below in the comment section. Let me know, what do you think, guys? Pep Hamilton as the offensive coordinator for the Houston Texans. This is definitely a huge win for Lovey Smith and a huger win for Davis Mills. You keep the continuity and you let Lovey Smith focus on the defense who he's had a track record of building really good defenses. I have no question in that. I do question the scheme, but hey, get the right players in here and let's see how this can happen. As always, guys, go Astros, go Rockets, go Texans. You have a blessed day. Don't forget to like and subscribe.